Hey everybody, Randy coming back at you with LPV Trends. And in this video, we're going to talk about when should you start landing your Avada? At what percentage of the battery should you start landing it? As you may or may not know, in a normal like 5-inch drone or a Cinewoop or something like that where you're using LiPos, um, you, if you're using like a 4-cell or something like that, you want to start landing, or any cell as that, as that matter goes, but when you want, you want to start landing somewhere around 3.6 to 3.65 volts uh, per cell to be safe. If you make it all the way down to 3.0 volts, you are at zero, okay? So you definitely don't want to be killing your LiPos like that. So in a normal Cinewoop or a normal 5-inch, 6-inch, 7-inch drone, whatever, uh, we start landing somewhere around 3.6 volts, okay, just to be safe. So where exactly is 3.6 volts or 3.5 volts or whatever on the DJI battery? Let's find out right now by hooking a voltmeter up to a battery. I'm going to show you a full battery and then a 30%, 25%, 20%, and a 15% battery. Okay, so this battery, I tried to... Uh, top it off um, but as you can see on the screen here it's at 96 percent it wouldn't top off so that's about as <laughs> that's about as charged as i could get it but let's go ahead and turn the voltmeter on here and we have to turn the battery on as you can see it's fully charged uh, so let's go ahead i believe the left is the positive and the right is the negative Okay, so we're at 16.46 volts, as you can see right here, 16.46 volts. So I'd say probably fully charged 100% is probably 16.6 or 16.7 maybe. So let's do the calculations on that. Okay, so at 100% charged, or in our case it was 96%, but we're going to figure it at 100. And let's say it's 16.7 volts. Uh, at 100. Now if we take that and we divide it by 4, that's going to give us 4.175 volts, which is 4.18 volts. That sounds a bit high, but that could be about right. Uh, if it was 16.6 .6 volts divided by 4 cells, that would be 415, so that's probably about right. So we're, let's just call it 415 uh, volts per cell. Okay, so I just flew this battery. You can see the video there, or you just seen it, I guess. I don't know how I'm going to edit this, but this battery now is at 30%. Okay, so it's at 30%. Let's go ahead and see what the voltage is at 30%. 14.34 volts. As you can see it right there, 14, well, 14.35 now, I guess. So that's at 30%. So let's do the math on that. Now at 30% full, we're at 14.34 volts. So we take 14.34 volts and divide that by 4. We're now at 3.59 volts per cell. So we're getting close to needing to land at 30% battery. So let's go ahead and take a look at what 25% is. Okay, now as you can see, the battery is at 25%. So let's go ahead and take it out of here. And let's see what the voltage is at 25%. Fourteen point eighteen volts at twenty five percent. Okay, so as you saw at twenty five percent, we're at fourteen point eighteen volts. So let's take fourteen point eighteen, divide that by four. Now we're at three point five five. Now, as you can see from the video there, that this battery is down to twenty percent. So let's take a look at it, and just to show you here, there's one button there. Let's go ahead and turn it on voltmeter on and let's go ahead and see what the voltage is 14.10 okay so at 20 percent we're at 14.10 so let's take 14.10 and divide that by four now we're at 3.525 5 volts or 3.53 so we're not dropping a whole lot uh when it comes down to this so that's at 20 percent so let's go ahead and take a look at 15%. Now, as you can see on this badger here, it's at 15%. I'm going to take it out of the uh, Avada here. And uh, if we look at it, it's down to just one bar. And as you can see from the video there, it's 15%. Let's get this one out of the way. 
So let's see what the voltage is at 15%. Okay, so we're at 14.04 volts, 14.04, So now let's do the math on that and see where we're at voltage-wise per each cell. Okay, so at 15%, we're at 14.03 volts. So let's take 14.03 and divide that by 4. And now we're at 3.51, 3.5075 or 3.51. So you can see where we've dropped here. This is this is 15%, uh, 3.50, 3.51. This is at 20%, 3.52 or 3.53. This is at 25%, 3.55. And this is at 30%, 3.58. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, so we should be landing our VADAs at 30%, not flying them below that to be safe. Uh, so I would say at 35%, you need to start heading back to your location, and then you need to be able to land it at 30%. If you get it down to 25%, you're probably still okay, but you're starting to get into scary territory, especially if you're still high in the sky or if you're still far out. Once you hit 25%, you really need to be landing that battery. But it looks like at 30%, we're at about 3.59 volts. And as we know that any other normal uh, drone, we would be landing at 3.6 volts or somewhere thereabouts just to be on the safe side. So there you have it. At 30%, we need to be landing our Avada. Okay. So I hope this helped you out. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and more flying videos as well. And until next time, stay safe, fly safe. And I'll see each and every one of you on the flip side.